here's how to make this beautiful delicious egg stir fry with vegetables alrighty first things first put out all the vegetable that you fancy and crave sometimes I just add everything that I have in the fridge I want to break some eggs so the green beans take longer to cook so if you are cooking you have always you got to be mindful on how long each vegetable takes to cook otherwise it's gonna ruin everything so I like broccolini better because the portion is more and it's actually more nutritious than broccoli for those who don't know broccolini is basically the small thinner bro broccoli kind of broccoli and it's really yummy also i'll be adding the salad what i do is with the green salad is just literally at the end and just to be like put some of them because the beautiful part about them is as they cook they become just literally like a topping basically also i want to tell you about a cooking hack i have come up with i have got this oil spray and i've got an actual oil as well that i had been hardly using because i realized that this the spray is actually lasts you longer and so much better can i cook something especially like you don't want to submerge it like say you want to make fries or something so what you do is basically so this is actually is used for barbecue so you would barbecue the food but uh, i'm also using this for cooking so anyways i'm gonna move, make a little layer that's about it and the beautiful part about it is as you cook it will be easier for you to know if you need more or less basically and it doesn't really drench it and make it gooey really really easy especially for broccolini so as it cooks the broccolini gonna absorb so much of it so as you go you just basically just spray the broccolini and it's just very nicely cooked basically and it's not gonna be gooey it's just perfection so yeah i really recommend to get the oil spray because it's gonna last you longer it's been waiting like lasting you for a while but this is like even when you cook like eggs with it it's like very hard to know like what exactly oh my, oh my goodness so this with eggs is perfection because like the eggs wouldn't actually stick it's so perfect for uh, like layering oil before eggs anyways let's do that so yeah what i'm gonna do is basically fry all the vegetables chuck some eggs with them then i'm just gonna eat it with the lebanese bread and that's it very quick and easy let's cook baby let's do it baby also very important you'll obviously need the uh, salt and pepper and also what i use is like a ready-made garlic so i just like like squeeze some garlic in there then i'm gonna cook it oh my god garlic and onion is the best another beautiful thing you can do besides hummus you can add your shredded cheese as well but i feel like it's going to be too much layer some spread cheese on the bread and put the vegetables and make a wrap basically cheese melted on broccolini is perfection but i really recommend that you invest for a uh, multi-purpose cooker because it does a job for you baby so quick anyways i'll put it on this weight so basically it's gonna fry it for me I'm going to break some eggs say four eggs the reason i break four eggs is so i can have uh, leftover for tomorrow and stuff like that even like the day after tomorrow okay here goes on one here goes a two here goes a three not too much egg is actually bad for you and your cholesterol level so try to eat four eggs in a week um if you want to have more that's fine at least that's from what i research that's what it says but um i try to eat i try to eat only like four eggs a week so that's why i do the leftover thing so like i have so much like amount of protein that is balanced basically throughout the week you see stupid me forgotten to put the vegetables so let me hurry and put the vegetables anyway but that's fine because if, for those who don't know broccolini can actually be eaten raw so it doesn't matter for it the thing is like i really enjoy it better when it's more cooked but it doesn't matter because i've already put that here and i'm gonna add the garlic as well and the onion and let's do that Okay, so I've put in everything in there. So basically, I just put all the vegetables. As you can see, the salad is very puffy, so it looks like there's so much food. But actually, if you just go to give it a swirl, look how yummy! Oh my goodness, the salad already looks delicious. Uh, so yeah, basically, you just fry them together, and as you can see, the the oil is starting to dry because like it's, everything's starting to absorb it. So what I'm gonna do is just splash another more. Go, chick, 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 chick. A little more. Oh, yeah, this is perfection, literally. And look how beautiful, like, it's not gooey at all. Basically, the ending. So, just like I'm gonna top it up to make it more delicious. It makes herbs and red chili. I wasn't a fan until I actually tried it. I've been obsessed. So yummy. Lastly, the bread. I use the chups. So, it's like a Lebanese bread. It's the best for dipping. My broccolini is actually cooked. I'm happy with that. It smells like heaven, by the way. 
now I'm gonna put them all in this bowl so it makes it easier for me to dip easier for me to put it in a big bowl and then I'm gonna put it in a container for tomorrow cooking done I just sprinkled the mixed herbs and the chili just for aesthetics look at it it looks more like a fancy restaurant kind of food made at home that's like even more healthy more various there's so much uh, nutrition in it so yeah i'm gonna put the rest in here uh usually i'm not gonna obviously eat all of that so i just what i do is because i don't know what portion i'm gonna eat so i'm gonna eat until my full uh my fill and then i'm gonna put the rest here and uh, i want to add to it, actually just tell you another life hack cooking hack so if you don't want all of this to you know stick you take the dish soap you put a little layer you add some water And then you take the spoon or spatula or whatever you want to grab the food with and you just rub the food that is stuck. Just try to scratch it not too harsh so you don't scratch the bottom because if you scratch it then next time if you're gonna cook the food will get even more like it will be even harder to scratch if that makes sense. I stir, just try to take uh, scratch away as much as possible and then I'm not done what I do is I also put some of the soap on the walls it just helps like even you don't even have to scratch it because like the wall doesn't have much but the soap would sit in and then when you go in to wash it it's going to be so much quicker like it doesn't even take time at all it's like raising a chalkboard so it's really really easy that's why it's really easy for me to cook and uh, like I get motivated quickly because like even like washing the dishes is not a chore anymore by the way i never use the dishwasher because i made washing the dishes something that um like a meditation for me i programmed my mind to think that way anyways it will be ready for washing afterwards enjoy your food let me show you oh my goodness look at this goodness and of course, I've got my uh, healthy biscuits on the side, so it's something like a dessert, but like at least it's a healthy dessert. Uh, another tip that I really want you to follow is, from now on, do buy fresh juice. Like, it's literally there in the supermarket, so why not? And it's the same price. It still lasts fresher, and it's really delicious, and you feel energetic, it's really filling. I used to drink with a glass, but the reason I'm taking the bottle, because I've been actually drinking more than glass, which is good. Uh, but anyways, hummus, this, basically I get bread and I'm gonna dip it, it's gonna be delicious. Look, bush, <sighs> the smell is awesome. Just gonna dip it with hummus, I'm gonna dip it with some of the vegetables. See ya! Uh... Oh my goodness, let me have it. And your digestive system is happy as well. Happy cooking! Don't forget to like and sub if you want more. It takes a lot of time to make this video for y'all. Go watch my happy food playlist. That's a new series I started. Oh, yummy. Ah, bro, I'm full. Gonna have my ginger tea and chillax. I'm too full for the biscuits even, which is good. Everything nice and clean. I love it. I love like my routine after cooking, uh, cleaning everything and just taking care of all the water around so you don't get rashes and everything. For those who do not know, see like how awesome life is. Uh, I used to be in... Uh, room attendant. I've learned a lot about cleaning and uh, the first thing I really learned which is like the basic don't have water around water means bacteria bacteria means parasites and, and roaches and all that so never have water anywhere so for me like the sink is okay usually but I still sometimes actually see roaches but uh, I'm happy with the sink is okay to be a little like wet but everything else no this is my cooking thing and I learned from my, uh, when I was homeless, I lived in a tent in uh, somebody's backyard. And the person who cooked always had something like that on his shoulder. And right now it's funny that I'm like using the same thing. It's always on my shoulder when I'm cooking. So just, you know, to anything grubby, you would uh, grubby here. And I was going to say, yeah. And then before bed, what I do is literally, oh, look at that. Get back. Oh my god, I love my life. Uh, I love you, my cooker. This is my shirt because it's hot, warm. It's starting to get warm in here in Australia. But anyway, turn off these lights. And then this is my like nighttime light, which is here. And then I would just like nice and moody. And I would just chill.
We'll be seeing you in our next episode of Happy Cooking.